Hello everyone and welcome to a little bit of an impromptu PSA video regarding a couple of issues with the new Minecraft launcher which is the same as the old one but it's been integrated into the Microsoft Store as part of their launch for playing Minecraft via the Game Pass where you get access to both versions of the game on the computer. Now I have a solution for one of these problems but not to the other. Now this is the old Minecraft launcher right here. If you boot this up you'll probably see this message down the bottom here that there is a new and improved launcher that you can download it. This will take you to the Microsoft Store which I went and did and then I ran into a couple of issues. So let's go ahead and load up the new launcher. So here is the new Minecraft launcher. Let's play Spot the Difference because it's identical. You might also notice here that it's a little bit slower to load up, which I find peculiar. But anyway, when you log in, you're going to find you'll be logged out of all of your accounts. You'll have to log back into those again. And that all of your profiles are going to be missing, which for me was a big headache to manually import them. But luckily, there is a solution to automatically migrate them from one to the other. The other issue that I've had that I've been unable to solve is actually playing the game from the new launcher. When I click play, the launcher will close. I will get this message. Could not create the Java virtual machine. A fatal exception has occurred. So I did spend my time looking around for a solution. I couldn't find anything that worked. I updated to the latest edition of Java. I installed and downloaded the latest one from the website and I even manually pointed the game to the Java executable right here. None of these solutions have unfortunately worked for me. So in this video, I can't tell you how to get this to launch if you're having the same issue. But luckily, you can still load the old launcher and that one launches the Minecraft game just fine for me. Now on the Mojang Bug Tracker website, we have this issue that the launcher loses all saved installations after changing to the MS Store version. And it actually comes with a workaround or a solution right here that you can open your app data folder. You can create a copy of launcherprofiles.json and delete the other file and then rename that copied one to this. So let's go ahead and look at that. So when you navigate to this folder on your computer, obviously your username will be different. You'll be uh, introduced to all of these files right here. The one that we're talking about is launcher profiles and Launcher Profiles Microsoft Store. So when you open up this file, there'll be all the sorts of information inside of it. You can see an example of my replay mod instance right here. It tells it to use Fabric when it was created. All of this stuff can be imported because the other file type is the same. It's .json. So you can rename this one to that one and save yourself that headache. I've also noticed there are Launcher Accounts and Launcher Accounts Microsoft Store. I don't know if you can do the same trick to import all of your logins. I had to do that manually and I haven't tested this. Now all of this was a part of the Game Pass launch and that came with some initial issues too. People unable to access Java edition of the game. However, that is resolved, but it seems like there are still lots of other issues as well. I've been seeing rumors that Optifine and some modded stuff doesn't work with the new launcher. But for me right now, I can't even get the game to play. So I'm using the old launcher for now. Anyway, I hope that file renaming trick was useful for you. So when you migrate over to this launcher, you can save yourself the headache of having to set up all of these things over again and I might make a follow-up video if I find a solution to actually being able to play the game because right now it just crashes every time I try.